We're here today with Dr. Anthony, also Tony Fauci, who is the director of the Allergy and Infectious Disease Institute of the National Institute for Health, which he has led since 1984, 35 years. That's a pretty long time to be leading an institute uh, at NIH. Is that a record? It is indeed, it is. You haven't gotten tired of doing this no. after 35 years? No, because things keep changing. We get new infectious diseases, new outbreaks, new challenges, so it's almost like a different job every year or two. I'm always worried about getting a flu. So if I want to avoid catching the flu, should I take a flu shot? Yes, influenza vaccination clearly protects you. It isn't a perfect vaccine. It doesn't protect you 100%, and it varies from year to year. But the best way to avoid influenza is to get your flu shot every year. Now, do you get one every year? I do, I do. I usually don't get them, and I'll tell you why. I'm often afraid that I will um, get the influenza shot for a, a different flu than the one that comes out that season. Is that a problem? Since influenza, uh, almost unique among viruses, tends to drift or change from season to season, that essentially every year you get vaccinated with a vaccine that we hope matches well with the circulating virus. But it's possible that you make a vaccine against one and it'll change a little by the time the season comes and then it isn't a best match. But it's still always better to get vaccinated. Now, 100 years ago, around 1918, 1919, about 100 million people in the world were killed by influenza. Why was that? Could they not treat it better than those days? It was a pandemic. And a pandemic means that it is a virus that no one had any previous experience with. It was a brand new influenza. And it happened to be one that spread very rapidly and that was very virulent. It was a catastrophe. Something like that not likely to happen again, you think? Uh, hopefully not as severe as that. We had a pandemic in 2009, uh, H1N1, the swine flu of 2009. It was a pandemic because it was a brand new virus. The good news is that it wasn't particularly virulent. So although it spread right. rapidly, it didn't kill as many people. You're the leading infectious disease person in the United States, maybe the world. Uh, how many times a day do you wash your hands? I would say at least six, seven, eight, nine times does, a day. Does it look bad if you shake somebody's hand, then you go wash your hands right away? <laughs> that doesn't look <laughs> good, does it? If you make it obvious to the you person. Don't that, make it obvious, right? That's right. Don't make it obvious. Okay, so you avoid making it obvious. I avoid embarrassing okay. people, right.